You know, uh, the comment was made earlier about uh, you know, going back to how you first approached art and what were the influences on you. And uh, mm -hmm. I guess this pairing has a lot to do with my mom's influences on my, my work. And my mom was, is still a big fan of uh, Ron Martin's work. And uh, although I was never, uh, I never really had a, a strong connection with it, I always appreciated his work. Um, and yeah, my mom was always a big fan of uh, his paintings. So when I saw this piece, I guess it was an exhibition at Christopher Cuts in the mid '90s, and it, it kind of uh, it spoke to me on a level that the other pieces of his didn't. I guess primarily because I do a lot of drywalling, and uh, so you know I, I I have a kind of connection to the kind of Zen experience of putting plaster on seams and putting up chip rock and. I did seem to have all that in it. This was kind of like, you know, what, what you experience as a drywaller when you, your brain starts to wander and you're thinking, yeah, there's something meditative and kind of zen about putting plaster on the wall. Um, and then, you know, pairing it with this, uh, yeah, maybe you just talked about the white cube and this relationship to painting where the painting is going to be situated in a gallery like this where the white wall becomes as much a part of the work as the work itself, especially when it's like something as minimal as this painting was. Um, so no, I, I, I felt like it was a very uh, subtle and reflective kind of body of work and so I was quite excited to find that there was uh, an example of it in the collection. And, uh, you know, I guess with my own work, this is like a very new piece. Uh, I, I'm actually just sort of playing around with this, this image. I've, I've done um, several, several pictures, about a uh, hundred or so images of, of trucks now, and uh, over the last, I guess, last five, six years. And, you know, I was just talking to Vizigo, but maybe this has something to do with uh, Charles Daniels photograph that I saw many years ago, and one of my mom's favorite uh, painters, photographers, and I think Charles had a really beautiful photograph, if I can remember, of just uh, the side of a truck. And, you know, when I relate that back to his painting, and seeing it at the textures of like a blank canvas, and I guess that's what I started to see in these trucks over time, it was just how they sort of looked like blank canvases to me. And I liked the, the idea that there was an anonymity to them as well. You don't really know what's going on inside them, whether they're, you know, taking slaves somewhere to work in a sweatshop somewhere. I mean, actually, the initial project started with that idea. I was sort of interested in, in these trucks that transport uh, people around to various sweatshops in Toronto and they usually have these, their vans like this, but they have windows in them. But they're very hard to find, so I, I could never photograph them properly. And then it kind of morphed into just doing something maybe a little less critical and more uh, about, maybe about modernism. And that, I guess I saw a relationship to like Robert Ryman's paintings and just this kind of contemplation of uh, like surface and the, you know, the subtleties that exist in that. Um, so I guess, yeah, that's pretty much it.